Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to prepare a player for a short pitch ball. The one thing you are definitely going to need if you want to play short pitch bowling better is a sound technique. And more specifically, an ability to play off the back foot. It is so important to keep your eyes on the ball. Obviously, this is an aspect of batting technique that is applicable to all players of all ages. Because it helps us to make better decisions and connect with the ball more accurately. But also because it helps to keep us safe. So when you're doing this drill, you always better off using the tennis ball and a tennis racket. So that will give a lot of confidence to the player. I am a firm believer that if you have your weight slightly forward over your front knee and looking to be aggressive, it will allow you to maintain a lot more balance at the crease. Having that balanced base is the foundation from which you can play any shot including ducking up. So it's all about decision making, right? It's all about decision making. You have to make the decision whether you play or you leave. Okay? Having a game plan is so important when facing a fast bowler. And specifically, short pitch bowling, it is very important to have a clear plan of what balls you are going to attack and where you are going to hit them. As well as which ones are you going to leave or defend and how you plan to do this. The line wasn't close, isn't it? I said anything straight you play, anything up there you need, let it go. So if you play As you can see here, I have given them an option to play on the back foot, defense, back foot drive, or working the ball towards the leg side. As you saw here, now after he got hit on the head, he start get to panic. So he wasn't confident at all. So when you see a situation like this, even at training or in a match, you have to always tell the player to just calm down a bit and take a deep breath and think about watching the ball, keep, keep the eyes on the ball until he get his confidence. At the start, we let the player to leave the ball. In the second phase, we ask the player to play back foot drives, defense, and working the ball to the leg side. Now, we are getting the player to leave balls and play the pull shot. So that's the third phase. The best players of short pitch bowling reduce the risk of getting out by getting on top of the gloves and rolling their wrist when the bat makes contact with the ball. So it is very important to keep your balance and play the ball well. Thanks for watching Melbourne Cricket videos.